welcome to the Beetle Breeding Channel, day 8 of the breeding project with Coriatus Regius. Temperature 26 degrees. This is the perfect temperature for this species. So we have to go through all of the glasses, the jaws. Yes, two days ago I gave three pellets into this glass. Now we see nothing anymore. It's just an empty surface. So we have to add another three. Here. One, two, three. So if tomorrow there are all uh, next time also three pieces of this cat food pellets are eaten, I will have to add more because then I know that they eat a lot here. One, two, three, same thing. Also we had three here two days ago, they are eaten. So if they really eat three pellets, I mean how many grams is this? We can check it here on the weight scale. So three pellets, how much it is? One, two, three. This is 0.75 grams, so this is uh, yeah, three quarter of a gram. That's a lot for a larva that is only three grams. So also here, everything eaten. Also here we had three pellets last time. We add another three, and then of course. I don't have to forget to write down what I did. This is plus three. Also here, 24, three. And we also have to check two glasses where it, there were no signs that the lorry have eaten anything. So we have to check whether the, here we added three pellets so there's one left here so I take this one out and add uh, two here so because they have eaten or at least taken down to the substrate two so minus one plus two Here I added two pellets two days ago, nothing here, so we can now add three, two, three. Still the same view from the top that there's a tunnel. Three. So if you have done this several times, you know, the process is not very complicated, you just have to do it regularly. Also here's three more pellets. And also we have to check whether they really eat it or they just take them into the substrate. Now that's what we will find out very soon. Also here's three pellets two days ago, no sign of a pellet on the top. We add three. So there's an ongoing discussion about what kind of food and what kind of substrate you can use. It seems that you can use a lot of a different substrate also with more uh, loam in it. Uh, some people use only flake soil for the breeding of Coriatus with no sand. Um, I've, I thought that this method is very good for the rearing, so I stay using sand and peat. Karl Meyer was one of the pioneers. He left a very nice breeding report about 10 years ago, uh, where he frit, uh, written about this method with peat and peat and sand and it worked very well for, for him, it worked also very well uh, for me, so that's why I still use it. But I've seen also other reports 
uh, where they in the wandering phase at the end uh, when the lorry try to find a place for the pupation that they added loam and practically only loam and that they succeeded uh, to build their pupil chamber also in a material that is wet and loamy so that's interesting to see the biggest problem in this phase is that they that the, the pupil chamber should not shrink together while drying so that would kill the insect pupa inside and for that reason you should add enough sand so they can build a really uh, stable construction with the sand and the peat if you use too much peat there's a danger that the pupal chamber will shrink while drying and kill the insect pupa inside also here we see three pallets they have eaten a lot now practically every larva has eaten three pellets in the last two days also here there were three one two three more also if you want to check the status of the caterpillar do not do it too often it's better to leave them uh, here it is four, so we can try to do it. Do not um, disturb them too much. I've seen people who check the weight of the larva practically every day. That's not very good for the larvas. Here also three. So you see that practically every single larva has eaten these three pellets now. So they are also yeah like the same age and same generation and that's also very nice because if you want to have a um, second generation with them you need to have a female and a male that emerge close together uh, in the same time now here we see that there were three in here but only one has been taken down, the others I take out now one here one so I will only add one now so here I have to write minus two plus one but it's still living so because it's, it has eaten something here there were also three pellets, nothing left. One, two, three. So that's the whole work. Now, but now you should already know it because I've shown it already sometimes. So this is the one of the glass jars where the last time I... There was zero until now there's only one pellet eaten and I wondered whether the larva is still living but now the, the foot pellet seems to be eaten so let's have a look whether this larva is still living yeah here it is here it is look now then we will check whether um, how much it has so total uh, 2.35 grams okay, very nice a little larva here that looks healthy and clean now so what I will do I will just yeah what you can do also just put back the the, the, the material to the glass jar 
Not that though. And then we can add now 102 pellets. Now here you can see the Goliatus regius larva. So also this one who has only eaten one gram is now 2.4 so I will add two uh, pellets for her. A little bit of water and bring her back to the place she's been. So. So I have added plus two. And there we go on. We have two more left here. This one also had three pellets. This one left behind. Uh, we add two more. Minus one plus two. And here there were also three pellets. That's one here. And one down here. So I take out these two. Uh, this is practically yeah, two minus two. So I place two more so 24 7 plus 2 minus 2 so that's the job next time we will check another lot of other ones that have eaten a lot just to see how much weight they have uh, added to their body while eating this cat food pellets so stay tuned here to the Beetle Brain channel with the bringing of Coriotus Regius. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.